Hey guys, so you like 80 proof whiskeys and maybe a little bit over, then boy, do we have a list for you. <laughs> it's eight of them. We have eight 80 proofers. All right, so what is our criteria for 80 proof? Is it just 80 proofers? Uh, they could be a little bit higher, under 90 proofs. You, you got to keep it above 80 mm -hmm. and then below 89? Um, I think the highest one here is like 86. Okay, cool. So that's, that's fair. Some of the so best that we think is on yeah, the market. All right, so we are self-admitted proof whores. We like so them hot. We, do. we oh. like it to burn. We like to burn. We like but. our bourbon to come with a shot of penicillin. <laughs> That's right. And then I just have to go to the hospital because I'm allergic to penicillin. <laughs> but if you're going to go in that 80 proofish range, I want something a little bit lighter on my palate. Something that's not going to dehydrate me as fast. Something that's not going to get me as in the pocket quite as quick. Mm -hmm. I can just sit there and enjoy while I'm enjoying my cigar. Yeah. <clears throat> that's where several of these have actually come into play for me this summer. This is one that, this is a go-to for me, has been for a number of years. Cooper's Craft. Not the 100, just a plain old Cooper's Craft. Coming in at 82.2 proof. Cooper's Craft is coming out of Brown Foreman. It has those classic Brown Foreman notes. You can get it well, typically well under $20. And I just think it's good. That brown sugar, caramel notes, a little bit of the darker flavors. I'm obviously not pulling kind of the punches that a Woodford Reserve, a Cooper's Craft 100, an Old Forester product is going to. Those are gonna be more developed flavors than this. Yep. But this is phenomenal for well under $20 and an 82.2 proof. Not gonna get you too hot too quick. I like it. I like this a lot. <clears throat> I like it a lot. Next on the list. Old Forrester 86. Uh, we use this for mixers, just like Cooper's Craft. They almost look like the same bottle, but it's a good mixer. It's a good, just daily pour. Oh, yeah. And it's cheap on the wallet. It doesn't cost that much. It's inexpensive. It only costs a couple dineros. You get what I'm saying? You ain't gotta spend that much. It's good for on the budget drinkers. And it's 86 proof, so it's not terrible on the throat. It feels good going down the old chute. That's what she said. Ha! <laughs> I don't get it. But seriously guys, if you have a chance to pick this up, Old Forester products, you really just can't go wrong with them. And this being one of the cheaper ones they have on the shelf, it still has that level and that degree of tastiness, fulfillment that Old Forester gives in most of their product. Uh, your turn. <clears throat> Next one on the list. This is a bit underrated. I still think it's underrated by a lot of folks. It is good. Four Roses, <laughs> ye non-yellow label. What well, used to be yellow label. What everybody calls yellow label, which hasn't been yellow label in freaking years. Well, we still call it that. We still call it yellow label. And for the people that live in upstate Green, uh, in South Carolina, when we say Bilo Center, what do we mean? Bon Secor no, Wellness no, Arena? <laughs> no, that's the freaking Bilo Center. I swear to God, I'm tired of this shit. It's okay, it's okay. Come down, come down. I'm just, I come can't stand, it's down. the Bilo come Center. Come Why do they name it 15 different names? It's okay that they call it the No, it's now. not. No, it's, it's Bilo okay. Center. It's, okay. it's two words. Sounds getting sorry. Low. I'm getting sorry. Low, big fella. You know what? Over the lips and down the gums, here comes the stomach. What the hell did I just say? Four Roses, <sighs> the 80 proofer. This is a phenomenal pour. Pick this up around the 20-ish dollar range. This is great. This was a staple in my house for quite a while. This was the my go-to bourbon. It's really, really good and a great price. Four Roses <coughs> are doing things with high rye mash bills. A lot of people, if you haven't tried Four Roses, damn it, get into it. There is the sweetness, the fruitiness that's coming from this. It's just, damn, it's good. Fruity. My turn. Mictor's American. Uh, America! America! Did you yell America? This is one, uh, probably, a, I think this is one a couple of blinds for us. You know what, we've done so yeah. many blinds, I'm pretty sure this is one, one of them. First bottles I ever absolutely fell in love with. I found it, it was a little bit of a harder find for me at the time because not everybody was carrying it. This was my, you know, couple of night a week pour. And to this day, I always keep a bottle of this here. I mean, with all the other bottles we have, and it's typically about like that. <laughs> this is gonna get drank, Yeah. period. Next on our list, Evan Williams Single Barrel. Price on this is going up, folks. Specifically This specific bottle. bottle was $29. They were, yeah, we saw it today for $44.99. Yeah, I think everybody's heard the rumors this is supposed to be going as a Ken uh, Kentucky only release pretty soon. So if you haven't tried this, grab a bottle. If you have and you know what we're talking about, grab a second or a third. Yeah. Bunker it a little bit, 
because this is just a really good bottle. This is an eight-year-old single barrel. At the time, we bought it for $29 for an eight-year-old single barrel. This is damn good. Coming in at 86.6 .6 proof. Outside of Evan Williams' 12-year, one of the best Evan Williams products. I would agree. So keep your eye out, bunker a little bit. Hey, by the way, if you like what we're doing, please hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when we're dropping new content every week. If you'd like to see us drink bourbon and act a fool in front of the camera and show you bottles and stuff and whatnot, join us on Patreon. You'll see a lot more dumb content that we put out and it only costs $69 billion. Please fund our yacht in our trip to Sandals Resort because Sandals is awesome and I don't give a damn what everybody thinks. All right, coming in next in the Henry McKenna shaped bottle. Very old Barton. This is distilled and bottled at Barton in Frankfort, Kentucky. Good old place to go and get some whiskey. Yeah. All right, so Ryan and I tried this. Uh, this was given to us by one of our subscribers and friends, Ray J, and it's $12. But you can only get this in Kentucky. And if you plan on going to Kentucky anytime soon, stop by Barton, pick you up a bottle. They're cheap as hell and they taste great. It's an 80 proof. I mean, it smells good, a ton of flavor. For me, it was a very nostalgic. I don't know, it just, it sparked memories from childhood, like just summer country day in South Carolina. It felt like home. You feel like home. You missed. Your turn, B. Next up, what's in my glass? 10 cup, 10 year. This is 10 cup, this is their 10 year American whiskey. It's aged 10 years. It is coming in at 84 proof. Freaking phenomenal. One of the better 80 proofers that we've had. This is one of the best to me. This is yeah. absolutely one of the best. It deserves a, a place on this list. If you're going under 90 proof, this better be on your list because this, it's just packing so many flavors in a category that is usually very watered down and the flavors are very muted. This is packing a very decent amount of complexity. It is great and it comes with its own little Tin cup in the bottle is just oh, it's amazing. super cool. It's super cool. Super cool. Absolutely love it. The flavor is phenomenal. That's what I've been sipping on throughout the video. AJ, can you get it on? Can you get it? I in, just AJ? did it. I did it myself. You should be able to pick this up under forty bucks in most places. You know, prices vary by geography. It's reasonably priced, and I think it is well worth it. Last on the list, benchmark. Old Numero Ocho. All right, you guys have seen our benchmark foolproof review. Card will be right here. So we ended up trying old number eight uh, after we tried foolproof because just like classic proof horse, we go straight for the hot stuff. So we ended up getting the old number eight because we wanted to try the 80 proof and I'll be damned if it doesn't have similar notes. This is the foolproof. They are almost exactly the same, except this one is a lot weaker. It's not 125 proof. This right here is butterscotch. It's caramel. This is also the same flavors, except turned down slightly, yeah. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> That's the best way to explain it. It is a whopping $9.99. Under $10 around I, us. Why is this only $10? Shh, shh. Buffalo Trace will hear you and they'll jack the shit out of this and allocate it highly. I didn't think about that. You're probably right. Scratch what I said just now, you know what I'm saying? $10 is worth it. And this is what I'm drinking though, because it is delicious. Why is this $10? 